Hey guys, uh, Johnny Cash here, and this uh, uh, lesson's on box plots. Uh, but before, let's take care of this board problem here. A reporter wishes to portray baseball players as overpaid. So which major center should, should she report uh, as the average salary of Major League Baseball players? Well, the key word is average, you guys. Average is a uh, um, code word for average is the word mean. So it's choice A. Median is the middle salary. Median is middle. Mode is the most. The mean and the median, they're not always equal, and, and this one doesn't make sense either. So the key word is average, so it's mean, okay? All right, so uh, the measures of spread with quartiles. Okay, definitions. The first quartile, Q1, is the median of the lower half of data. Uh, Q3 is the third quartile, and that's the median of the upper half of data. And when you, So you find the median, and then it divides the median, divides it into the lower half and upper half. And then, so then you can find your median of the lower half, which is Q1, and the median of the upper half is Q3. So when you find the median, then you leave that out when finding the quartiles. I have an example coming up. Don't never fear. The five-number summary system is then the minimum, quartile 1, the median, quartile 3, and then the maximum. Okay, and you use the five-number summary system along with its center and any skewness or skyscrapers when it's asking you to describe the distribution. All right, so here's the example. Find the five-number summary system of the number of home runs by Hank Aaron and Barry Bonds. Okay, now I've put these in order, you guys. They weren't in order out of the text, but to save some time in this video, I've put them in order. So here's Hank Aaron's, and then here's Barry Bonds right here. Well, let's do Hank Aaron's first. Okay, now I've already counted them up. There's 21 numbers right here. So the middle number is the 11th. So if I count the 11th number, it's that 38th. That's the median right there. Okay, now we don't use that 38. We, we go back one number and start with this 34 all the way to this 13, and we find the middle number of that. Now there's 10 numbers into those, so I've got to go in and go into my fifth and sixth one. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's the average of these two guys are going to be quartile one. So quartile one is going to be 28. Okay, and then quartile three, the fifth and sixth numbers after the median, one, two, three, four, five, six. So these are my two numbers. So the average of those guys is 44. Okay, we're going to do the same thing with Barry. Barry had 16. So I'm going to go into the eighth and ninth number for Barry. Okay, so now they're the same right there, but pretend like I had to average them. It, it, it's like a new number in there. So I don't use this 34, which means I'm going to still use this 34. Okay, the median is 34, but it was because I averaged these two numbers. If it was only one number, then I wouldn't use it. But since I'm using two, then I'm going to use this to count the lower half. So there's going to be uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I'm going to go in my fourth and fifth number. There's number 4, there's number 5. So the third quartile is uh, 25. And the fourth and fifth number starting with this 34, because I don't use that one. I use this one. 1, 2, 3, 4. Four and five, so the third quartile is going to be um, uh, 41. Okay, so the five number summary system for Barry Bonds is that right there. All right, so the inner quartile range, the IQR, is the distance between the first and third quartile, so it's Q3 minus Q1. Okay, so how to label an outlier? It's an outlier if it falls more than 1.5 times the IQR. Remember, IQR is Q3 minus Q1. Okay. So um, above, so it's 1.5 times the IQR if it falls above the quartile 3 or below quartile 1. You know, if I multiply 1.5 times the IQR, and then, and then whatever that is, if you get a number that goes above quartile 3, uh, uh, so this above quartile 3 or this below quartile 1, then it's considered an outlier. So let's deal with Barry Bonds as 73. Okay, his quartile 1 minus quartile, uh, quartile 3 minus 1 is 16. So 1.5 times 16 is 24. Okay, so I'm going to go quartile 3, which is 41. 41 plus 24 tells me the upper cutoff number. The upper cutoff number is 65. So since 73 is above that, then it is considered an outlier. So 73 would be an outlier. All right, to construct a box plot, um, old school was box and whisker plot, your box comes from your quartiles and your median. And you make rectangles with those, and your whiskers are lines that extend out to the range numbers, the small number and the big number. 
All right, so here's an example with bonds. So go ahead and make that chart. Notice this right here is the numbers that includes everybody's home runs, okay? So I went from, this is just a number line, and it went from 0 to, to cover bonds is 73. I went up to 80 right there, okay? And then so here is, and let's see, did I put them up there? Good, I did. Okay, so these boxes come from this box, this 25 is this edge of this box. So this is my 25 right there. This is my median. This is 34. So that's this one right here. And this is quartile 3, the 41 right there. Okay, here's the, the small number. It extends out there to the 16. Here's the big number. It extends out there to the 73. Okay, Aaron's, I'm sorry, Hank Aaron is, uh, here's his uh, 28, 38, and 44. This is 28, this is 38, and this is 44. And then this range number goes out to the 47, and this range number goes out to the 13. Okay, so that's a box plot. Now my textbook does them like that. I don't know why they do them like that. Just recognize it's the same as uh, the box plot. So, so ways to observe the box plots. Uh, locate the median or the center of the distribution. That's not distance, it's distribution right there. So locate the median or the center of the distribution. Uh, look at the spread. And the quartiles show the spread of the middle, the, the spread of the middle uh, uh, interquartile range. Okay, so the extremes show the spread of the entire data. Our box plots show that both are about equal with their middle 50%. So let's take a look. And then in general, skewness happens when one quartile is farther from the median than the other. Let's take a look at this right here. Okay, can you see that this quartile here is farther from the mean than this quartile right here? Since it's farther to the left, this is skewed to the left. Skewness is dealing with the box part only. Okay, since this one is farther to the right in this box, this box is bigger on the right than this one, then this one is slightly skewed to the right right there. Alrighty? So, uh, let's see. So, um, again, that's how they did it right there. So, uh, Bonds and Aaron's right there. So, it's the same box plot, just uh, shown vertically. A modified box plot leaves the outliers out as isolated points. Okay, and so there's how you do. In your calculators, I would do all of, uh, we did it in class, we did uh, uh, Hank Aaron in list one, we did Barry Bonds in list two, and then we turned on uh, above y equals on the TI calculators is uh, the stat plot. Turn on stat plot one and stat plot two, all right, and I'm looking at my calculator right here, and then, uh, and then uh, when you turn on both stat plots, go to the histogram, so make sure they're on, go down to type, and go over, 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 and it's going to be, it's the bottom middle graph, that's your histogram. And then for plot one, you do list one. For plot two, you do list two, and that'll give you a side-by-side -side box plot right there. Alrighty, and if you're in my statistics class, um, oh, and then the modified box plot, you guys, is the one to the left of the one we just did on there in your, in your TIs. If you're in my stat class, that's what I would assign you guys as homework. Okay, good job, you guys.